My placement was with Sensory Dimensions. They were started 25 years ago and since then have expanded from Reading to a site which actually contains three buildings with different projects in Nottingham. They do sensory and consumer analysis. They will take on work from anybody. So if you look in your cupboards now, I can guarantee you that I have seen most foods that you've bought in our kitchens and I've tested them and I've heard so much feedback from them. They've been expanding over the last few years and they've taken on pet food projects. They now have a full tissue panel. They have a deodorant panel, which means that it is somebody's job to come in and smell somebody else's armpit to see whether it still smells good. <laughs> and they've actually recently started an e-cigarettes project. My project was focused on food and I was working for a retail client but they wanted to know how they compare to other retailers and other producers out there. So they would send us a product list each week of about 30 products and they would tell me to go out and buy them as well as the benchmark that they'd picked and get a group of people in to talk about the product, see what's good, what's bad about each one, write it up in a report and send it back to them. So that project, I think getting on top of it properly took me about a month to get into all the sensory terms and the vocabulary and learning the names of all the people on the panel and getting them to come to work and all of that. It took about a month and it's just as I was going, okay, I can do this, I might survive. They threw a second project at me, a brand new one to the company. No one had run it before. There was no kind of procedure in line for it. It was a completely different type of sensory work. And they were just like, here, yours now. The company that I went to had a sink or swim kind of approach, which worked really well for me because by the end of it, I was successfully running two projects for a major client, which brought in one of the top three amounts of revenue for this company. Um, and it felt amazing to do it. So I'm really happy with my placement. For a slightly smaller company, I think that you get a, a closer relationship with the people around you. And I really enjoyed that myself. Tips for your placement. I've got five. The first one would be to ask for help. There were times when I didn't have a clue what people were saying to me. It's not a problem. They don't expect you to know. They just haven't really understood that you don't know. So tell them that you haven't got a clue. Tell them that and they will explain it to you. They'll spend some time fixing it, sorting out the problem. And if you still don't know, then ask questions. Or if you see something interesting around the office, then ask a question about it. If you walk in and you see something random on, random on someone's shelves, whether it's um, a client that you know, ask what project they did for them. If you see some random products in the kitchen, ask what they're for. You'll get to know what's going on in the company and in the industry. It's really useful. My next tip is to admit if something's going wrong. So there were times when I knew that my reports were going to be behind. Something had come up, something else had happened. It just wasn't going to get out on the time that the client needed. So tell somebody. They will take some of your work from you. They will help you out. They will get that on time. They'll get you back on track. Again, on a personal level, if something's going wrong, tell the people around you as soon as possible. Find someone you can trust to talk to. My next tip is actually get to know the people that you're working with. So in my office, I knew who to go to um, when I wasn't feeling very well. Um, I know who to go to when I'm really stressed out. You go into the recruitment department and they are just crazy. So you go in there for 10 minutes, have a break, and it just feels so much better. So learn to where to go to for each thing. And finally, enjoy your placement. I'm actually going back as a graduate. I've been offered a job and it's because I enjoyed the placement the whole way through, which made me more enthusiastic, it made my work better. So really get involved, enjoy it. You've only got a year there. 